Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. President Buari lords Nigerians for ignoring revolution march says winner is democracy. President Mohamed Buhari on Monday, August 5, 2019, thanked all Nigerians who intentionally neglected calls on social media to join a fathom revolution march but instead went about their business activities. Malangaba Shewu stated that the president was humbled by the support not for himself or the governing party but for the democratic values of modern-day Nigeria. However, the president acknowledged that there were some persons who, for their personal reasons, decided to embark on the protest march. The statement in part read in parts, Today, millions of Nigerians went about their businesses, work seeking employment, attending school and college, and caring for their families. By doing so, the millions defended our country's hard-won democratic rights by ignoring calls on social media to join a fathom revolution. There were a few hundred persons today who, for their own reasons, decided to act upon the demands of a group calling itself Global Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria, which went on social media to ask everyday Nigerians to overthrow the government they only elected some six months ago. The president is humbled by the support not for himself or the governing party, but for the democratic values of modern-day Nigerians. Nigeria through the wisdom of those millions of citizens who preferred democracy and decided not to undermine an elected government. Today, joining those millions of Nigerians was not only the president and governing party at federal level, but many state governments from the opposition, trade unions, civil society organizations, media and NGOs with focus on freedom of speech, all have rightly united in protecting Nigeria's young democracy and the rights of all to elect leaders and lawmakers. The Global Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria attempt to incite citizens into a revolution against their own democratic rights and interests has failed, as will all attempts to take away from the people their hard-won rights and freedom to choose who leads their country. Just recently, the Are Onoka Kampo of Yoruba land, Iba, Ghani Adams, has appealed to the federal government to release the presidential candidates of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyele Showare. This is coming after the arrest of the publisher of Sahara Reporters and Convener Global Coalition for Security and Democracy in Nigeria by the police from the Department of State Service, DSS, over a planned revolutionary protest scheduled for Monday, August 5, 2019. Yeah, guys, uh, you've heard um, what the presiden presidency is saying, uh, uh, specifically from the president in, through his spokesperson, Malam Gaba Shewu. They are so happy that millions of Nigerians did not come out, that they ignored uh, the call for this uh, revolution, uh, a program that was scheduled for 5th of uh, August uh, 2019. So they are so happy because the people who elected them, you know, uh, not quite long they elected and some people are just calling for the removal of that government you know by using that word revolution i think that's what the the federal government is capitalizing on and that's what a lot of people are capitalizing on that say showware would have used a uh, more uh, mind uh, uh, word but for him to have used that word revolution is what is putting him into this problem but if if you guys if you listen to uh, falano he really explained everything and he's saying this is not uh, treasonable. And, you know, going by their own interpretation, you know, they are, they are lawyers. You know, other lawyers will still come and, and say whatever. They say it in their own interpretation or the way they understand the, the law to be. But if you guys have listened to Falano, you know, you need to go and check that if really what Shuwari has done or what he did is treasonable offense, you know, you get to know at least he is a learned person when it comes to that, when it comes to law. So a lot of people are saying things, you know, out of a, you know, out of fear, out of the way they understand it, going by the dictionary meaning of a revolution. But that's apart. But the federal government is happy. Mostly the president is happy that a lot of people ignored the call for this protest 
because what ordinary Nigerian understands about this uh, revolution or whatever name they are giving it to it or whatever coloration they are giving to it, you know, it's just they know, know it as a, a protest. But the federal government is happy that a lot of people ignored it. But my own opinion is that if I really want to ask you guys, do you really that do you really think that people really ignore that call or it's because okay, some people believe that of course they know quite all right it's going to be protest, but people are like, it's still going to go the other way too because protests are, you know, we've experienced a lot of protests in the country and they felt that the whole thing never yielded any results. Some people out of fear, some people out of a, uh, ignorance, some people out of like, okay, let's continue with this now. Let's, at the end of the day, just like I, what I said in one of my videos, that there are two things. He said that we are united and, you know, and continue to say the things that we don't really like about government. It's not only this government. Protest has been going on before this government came in. So it's not as if it's just starting now. And we know the kind of foundation that has been laid when it comes to Nigerian governments. We know the abnormalities, with the irregularities that has been going on. And people have been protesting. From records to even the same government, the people that are in government, so they, if one, in one way or the other, they've protested. They've made their opinion known even to the then government of what they were doing. So, so it's not a new thing that uh, we are talking about protest now. But the issue is that, like I said, there are two things. One, if we are not united. And secondly, we just have to like, okay, uh, bear it to the next four years. But that is what we've been doing from right from time in memoria. Oh, let us leave everything for God. Maybe that is how we are destined to live. Whether that is how we are destined to be or we are destined to have a, 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 we have des we are destined not to have a good leaders. That is a lot of things that a lot of people are saying. And there's something I really um come to realize is that the reason why we are not united, the reason why we are not having a one voice is because we have a many languages. It's one of the it's one of the reasons. It might not really be maybe the major reason, but one of the reasons I think that we are not that is making us not to make progress. We have about how many over two hundred uh, 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 tribes, languages, and you know when people will be coming together and speaking different language, people don't really understand. It just you can imagine when somebody is speaking a Yoruba, somebody is speaking Hausa, somebody is like oh speaking a uh, uh, Urubu, speaking a Igbira, speaking a even when you talk of even the Yoruba. In the Yoruba setting, we have different languages. It's not even all, all Yorubas that can even understand what some people are saying. When you take, you know, somebody who is speaking a normal general a, a Lagos Yoruba compared to somebody who is speaking a deep uh, language from Ekiti or Undo, all this in Lajai, Kale, you can't you know, not talk about a, uh, this a issue, a other language like, a, after, I've, I've forgotten that name, uh, the tribe, uh, Ijesha, yes. Uh, of course, if you if you speak a Yoruba, normal Yoruba Lagos, and you want to speak, somebody speaking a Jesha for you, to you, you know, it's very difficult if they really go deep, deeper, and you talk of Ijebu, you talk of a uh, Egba, all of those things. Let's alone that is Yoruba. Then you now go to, you know, go to the other, other, other region. We have a lot of multi languages. Like also go to the Delta State. It's a different ball game entirely. That one is even different. Even Yoruba said you can you be able to pick, but when it's when you go to Delta. It's a different thing entirely. So I think that's one of the things that is making us not to be united because you think of, oh, this person is not from my side. Maybe they are speaking one language. You don't even understand what they are saying. And you say you want to speak a, 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 a one voice. So to me, that's my opinion. And I have heard this for, from some people too, that, you know, because of our multi-language and multi-tribe and all of that, that is why we are not even making efforts because nobody, everybody wants to try to, uh, you know, talk in favor of their of their people um and coupled with the fact that again our uh, religion has come again oh people like oh everything you oh, just leave everything for god oh how can you be doing this are you are a christian oh you are you are an imam how can you know it will be it will be it, it won't be good that they are hearing that a, a, an imam is saying this kind of a thing you know they will tell you just concentrate on your on your imamship uh, you know you are as you are a cleric oh you are a pastor you shouldn't have been saying this just concentrate on your call god has called you just leave it like that and you know everybody no everybody you know nobody wants problem i just want to be on, in my corner and you know a lot of factors a lot of factors but i just try to pick one of the things that is making us not to make progress in terms of a uh, you know when we talk about you know progress and that is what these politicians they've seen all of these things and they are capitalizing on it and they are using it against us and we are following it for it naturally 
for us to have that many languages, it's going to be difficult for us to be united. That is my own opinion, though. So the federal government is happy now that oh, people did not come out. They try to ignore the this thing. That that means they feel that people really love their governments, or people really love the way they were voted for, and people even love the way things are going. Of course, I wouldn't blame them because uh, some people that have not even seen how a government work in other places, they wouldn't even appreciate it. They wouldn't even know what to even contribute. Somebody who has never even seen, uh, you know, a, 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 you know, you want to like a, have a electricity for like close to one month without any obstruction, without a break in transmission. And uh, you expect the person to really understand that, okay, yeah, or even if they give me light, oh, they give me electricity for like a, they give me electricity like for ah, yeah, two days, three days. Oh, they have tried. They have tried because you have never experienced uh, uh, that kind of a thing. You know, just at, at a stretch for one month that, you know, like the language we used to speak. Ah, never, uh, Nepal has never taken light for two, three days. Ah, Nepal now gives you light. Uh, PHCN, PHCN now gives you light for a month. Ah, you know, it's not going to happen because it's going like, it is a miracle. Even for a whole day. And you have lights, you know, you just go and be checking what is happening. Why is it why is it that they have not taken light? So when people have not really seen the other side of life or whatever, you know, they don't they just tend to like, oh, whatever is even every little thing that they just see, or they see that the government does, oh, they will be so happy. They will like, oh, they've tried. Why are you people complaining? Nigerians complain too much. Nigerians, this, Nigerians that those are the factors, a lot of factors. I'm not saying that is just the only thing, but these, these are the factors that will make us not to unite. But if we come together to unite and uh, use one language and you know have one voice definitely will make progress and these people they are just about five percent if even if they are up to but we that we have the larger numbers we are so divided now everybody's like oh sure oh he's looking for relevance he's doing is this and that oh he purposely used that language so that they will arrest him so that uh, he will be more relevant so that uh, he will want he wants you know a lot of things i know that is human being human being will come in you know, and behave naturally the way they are, because everybody cannot really go in, uh, go in one direction, and that is why we are. You are seeing that everything is just like upside down. So if that is how we are going to be living, so be it. People that are complaining, people that are trying to say, oh, the government is right, oh, the shawara is not right. At the end of the day, we will all see ourselves there. We will see meet ourselves there. We will see. We will continue with it. That means if that is the way we want Nigeria to go good and fine and if the government feels or think they are doing the right thing let them continue you know uh, uh, uh nothing is permanent that's just what we know but if we as a as a people we want to toe that line we want to like okay well let's uh, let's just leave everything let's forget everything let's 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 leave everything like that let's just be living of course that is just maybe that is what like some people used to say maybe we are destined not to have a good leaders we are destined to have the kind of life or the kind of country we have so be it so guys that's just my opinion i don't know what you think about what the federal government is saying that they feel that people are happy that was why they did not come out for this uh, protest do you think that nigerians are happy do you think that nigerians you know uh they ignore the call or to come out for protest or do you feel that nigeria are just disappointed that's why they didn't come out i would like you guys to leave all those things that you think that made a lot of people not to come out for this thing and and the, uh, the federal government or the president is praising nigerians for not coming out please leave your comments below in the comment section and let's hear your own take thank you very much for always being there bye <laughs>